Okay, so we just got into our condo. I'm gonna flip you around and give you a little mini tour. We started bringing some stuff in, but we haven't unpacked everything. So there's a little bit of stuff everywhere, so bear with me. But I wanted to kind of show you what to expect when you come into the Carlsbad Inn. Okay, so walking in the door, this is your view here. If you walk forward, you will see the master bedroom. I'll show you that in a second. And the beautiful kitchen with the granite countertops. And as you can see, we have all of our snacks laid out just so we can kind of grab and munch in the middle of the night or bring them down to the beach with us. And then we have a full kitchen, like a little mini stove, dishwasher. They give us a uh, little, where's the soaps? I already have my stuff over here, so don't mind that. Um, but there's usually like a little cup of soaps. I think it's up in the cabinet. Let's see, no, but you can see that there's glasses, there's silverware, oh, even wine glasses, hoo hoo hoo. And a full fridge, we already got our ice cream and we're making some ice. And then we stopped off at the grocery store just to get some, again, like little snack packs, lots of water, and um, some iced coffee so we don't always have to buy out. Some seafood and chips and salsa and guac and some soup and stuff like that. That way we don't always have to eat out because we have this big beautiful kitchen. Let's enjoy it. And then in these cabinets is more home stuff. We got some paper towels. I should probably take that out so we can use that over here. Let's put the paper towels out. We have a blender if you wanted to make some smoothies, a toaster for bread or maybe waffles or something like that. And then we have all of our dishes down here, pots and pans. Literally, the only thing you need to pack or buy when you get here is a little bit of food. Because like you guys know, we flew. Let's see what's up here. Oh, here it is. There's the, uh, we have some dish soap, a dishwasher tablet, and a sponge. And we got some coffee mugs, a dish strainer, and a bowl back there. So walking into the living room, we have our dining room table. And one of the first things I like to do when we get into the room is light our candle. I picked this up at the grocery store when we were getting the food. And it's just like a stress reliever one. I thought it smelled really good. We have a huge flat screen TV. Honestly, we almost never turn it on, but it's nice to have it if we did wanna watch a movie or the news or anything like that. There is more storage in here if you wanted to put some clothes out here or if you had another guest because this couch over here actually rolls out and turns into a bed. So when we bring the kids with us like we did last year, we unroll this and the kids will stay together here just because we have the two right now. It's fine for staying in there. I think as our family grows, we might have to upgrade our unit to the two bedroom one. But basically, it looks exactly like this. It just has an extra bedroom when you first walk in. There's like a little hallway, the first bedroom, and then the master is at the end. And it has another bathroom, so it is a really cool unit. I wanna show you this view and then I'll show you the master bedroom. So coming out onto the patio, we have an ocean view here, which is amazing. We have a little chair set up. I can come out here and do my makeup, drink coffee in the morning, come out and watch the sunset. Because this right here is exactly where the sun set last night. And it was absolutely gorgeous. So you can see the main strip here. There's some restaurants down this way, walking distance. There's another unit here. On the other side of this is a wonderful Mexican restaurant named Norte. So it's basically on the property. And then down, down the way from there is a really great breakfast spot called Daily Brew. Over here, I believe is some more storage and the blankets and comforter. There's a little safe in there too. And the blankets and comforter for the couch bed if need be and again more storage down here so I know when the kids came last year they each got like a side coming into the bathroom our unit only has the one bathroom but I'm okay with that because there's access from the kitchen as well as from the bedroom and I'm and it's not a big deal like we're here for the beach we're here to relax and have fun and yeah this is amazing there's some storage in here when I stay in like regular hotels, I don't usually use this stuff, but because we are here for an extended stay a little over a week, I do use the drawers and they come in handy. This is the beautiful shower here. It's got a little bench in there. They provide all your towels and everything. And then if you want, you could put like a little notice on the front door every morning and they come in and clean up your room for you. Of course, toilet. 
<laughs> That's not fun. Okay, so let me take you into the master to round out our little tour here. We have another TV, a king size bed, which is amazing. Ah, sorry, I didn't turn the lamps on, but we each get a nightstand. We have a full body mirror here to check out your outfits for the day. Uh, like I said, we kind of just came and dumped all their luggage in there. Another TV, full dresser. And then let me take you over here. By the way, the bed is absolutely so comfortable. Oh, and they do these cute little things with the towels each time they come in and clean up. This one looks like a little dress. And then we were having a debate with the one that we had on the bed yesterday. I thought it looked like a seal or a walrus or a whale. And Logan thought it was a shrimp. But you let me know in the comments down below what you think it is. We do have two full-size cabinets. So when I pack my clothes, which, oh my gosh, that's my luggage and that kind of embarrassing for a week but a girl's got to be prepared but i left everything in this bag on hangers and i know that's a bit much but i just come in and i just hang everything up nice and easy it's already organized the let me turn this light on so you can see in here we have an ironing board all the normal stuff for in a room and then like if you need to clean up a little mess there's a broom back there but these chairs have a little pocket where you put your towel beach towel back here and you each get one in the room so you bring it down to the beach which one day when we go down there we haven't gone down yet we got the iron up there but the next time we go down and we bring the chairs i'm going to show you the walk down there because it's so close it's beyond amazing. We have these beautiful bay windows that you can kind of open up and see out. There's a little courtyard that they're doing some construction down there. And then um, this table right here, once I get it all like organized and cleared off, is going to be my little like get ready table. I'll have my mirror here, my makeup brushes and all of that splayed out. And then there is another closet over here, of course, with the stand. Be these are the beach towels that you bring down the beach. You leave the all white ones in the bathroom and some more storage to kind of hang everything up in here. Maybe throw some shoes or other little bags up there. That is it, this place is so relaxing, so amazing and comfortable. Like there hasn't been a time that I've been here where I've been scared or uncomfortable or, um, I mean, it's perfect. Even if it's just the two of you, even if it's just yourself or a whole family, like I said, they do have the two bedroom units. I know those are a little bit harder to come by, but like for us right now, with the family of our size right now, it's perfect. Little coffee maker over here. So hopefully tomorrow morning when we walk down to the beach, I'll be able to film us walking down there and you'll see just how close we are to the water. Thursday and the sun just started to come out here this afternoon the morning clouds have kind of like burned off and I want to show you two different ways that we could get from our room down to the ocean because that's how close we are let me kind of turn you around I'm going to take you out on our balcony I may have shown you this already in an earlier clip but I kind of want to show it again so we could come out and they're doing some construction on um, the bottom layer of our unit but we would come down this side here um, down the elevator or down the stairs and then come down this walkway and then down those stairs there and you're on the beach but I'm going to show you the way that I'm going to go going through the resort you see here I got my little Walmart one piece swimsuit on my little Walmart black shorts a little hoodie because my arms are a little chilly at the moment and then my little backpack that I showed in my style vacation video because this has come in handy so 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 much okay let's go on an adventure and head down to the beach let me turn off the light in here first okay so headed out the door let's go Here, that's where 
elevator would come out and then this here is Norte and this is that Mexican restaurant I was telling you guys about that we love. They have amazing margaritas. So you do need a key to get back in once you go out. in the sand in less than what two three minutes oh, cool. it's beautiful here turn around this way Logan's got his little tent What are you gonna do? What? What are you doing? Taking a video of you trying to ride a bike. I'm doing great. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Also on this trip, we took an adventure out to Encinitas and there was this meditation garden. It was magical, like out of this world. I've never seen anything like this before. So beautiful, peaceful, and just perfection. Then on one of the days, we went out to Old Town San Diego because I had never been. And it was really cool, a little bit touristy, but there were still like beautiful old architecture and little shops that you could check out and it was really neat to at least see and I had never been there before. And of course we stopped at the Mexican restaurant there and had some dinner and margaritas. From there the rest of the trip was pretty vacation-y, lots of relaxing. Here we went to a special place for Logan's birthday dinner, I don't remember the name of it, but it was like a historical spot. It was really cool. Check the description box down below for the details. This is a succulent garden close to Carlsbad Village Boulevard. Oh my gosh, walking through there was so magical. I wish we had driven this year so that I could bring them home. These are two little creations that we made on the grounds of the Carlsbad Inn. They kind of have different festivities in that big green area that you see when I was walking down to the beach. And then just different pictures I took along our walks. We take lots and lots of walks. Lots of sunset walks, walks around town. You basically park the car once and walk everywhere. And just being goofy. Like that's what vacation's all about. It's just chilling and sitting on your butt and relaxing and enjoying the time away. 
yeah, much of the rest of the time we just ate a lot, drank a little bit here or there, and really just enjoyed ourselves. If you are looking for recommendations if you're staying in the Carlsbad area, I'll leave our favorite spots in the description box down below. I'll try to remember and list everything because we found some really amazing spots. Another thing on this particular trip, I like pretended to be a fashion blogger, so I got some really cool shots. But in the background, you can kind of see around town and the environment and the different areas and stuff like that. It's really, really pretty. If you have a chance to go here, you absolutely have to. Thank you so much for watching our vacation vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and found it at the very least entertaining. And I'll see you in our next video.